Star Wars Squadrons has loaded up. <clears throat> I had a lot of problems getting my Satec X52 Pro Hotas uh, joystick and throttle working with Star Wars Squadrons. So I found a short video that I'll put in a link in that shows you how to fix it. So you uh, go into settings for the or the properties for the uh, squadrons and then you go down to here and you say forced off for steam pregame setting. In other words, you don't want steam to do it, you want I assume that's what this means. You want squadrons to figure it out. So turn that to off, restart the game. And we're not going to do VR right now. We're going to do that later. Apparently, what, once the game is going, you can toggle into VR. That's probably probably the best way to start it up, I think. Then we can log in and so forth through your EA account just using your uh, PC screen. And then once you, the game's running, then turn on VR. Uh, I think that's a lot simpler. All right, we'll try that and see if it works. All right, here we are on the main menu. So now we can go to Options and Controls. And we're going to remap the controls. And then we show Flight. And so the Flight Stick shows up here now. So now we can customize this as we need to. We go back, 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 close that. Now we want to do a training mission. Keep things simple. So we're going to start practicing. Yeah, we're going to have to remap the controls to make things more easy to use. So it thinks we're using a mouse now. So if we, if we move the, jo the joystick, it says, okay, you're in uh, using your joystick to do things. So then we just uh, press the F12 button, the 12 button on the joystick, which is at the base of the controller, and that will launch the, the mission. And now we're flying. So let's see if our So we can move this around. We can fire. Our throttle doesn't seem to be doing anything. All right, the slider on the uh joy the uh Hotas is, looks like it's set up to be the <coughs> be the throttle, okay, instead of using the throttle itself. So we'll have to remap some of these controls, but we can speed up. Let's actually reverse. So. Fire the buttons. Fire the lasers. I'm not sure what that does. There's some of these buttons. <laughs> All right, and we can access the training menu. All right, so we can do different things on this. All right, so now that's basically working. We need to remap our controls. We'll probably find a suggested layout on one of the websites and uh, set it up. But at, le at least it's working. So now we're going to try switching to VR and see if that works. So I really like how this is working out. I figured out the best way to get into VR is to start the game in PC mode and then Go to the options with the escape button once the, once the battle starts and uh, or whatever you're doing or right before it hopefully and then you uh, just toggle VR mode and you put your if your headsets are already running so I really like the HP Re uh, Reverb G2 except for all the annoying uh, technology parts to get it to work but I got past all those and now it's working. All right, it turns out there's no off switch for the HP Reverb G2, which to me, from a usability point of view, is kind of dumb. I, mean, I don't know about you, I, I don't sit around all day waiting to put my AVR headset on. I'm going to do it for a game for an hour or whatever, then I'm going to go do something else. But I guess they kind of think of, think of it like a mouse. You know, your mouse is always plugged in, and it's always ready to go in a moment's notice. So if it, <coughs> there's some kind of face detection software that sees if you have the headset on and it turns on you know it's supposed to be cool i guess anyway i don't really want to go for that so they suggest you do is unplug the the power to the junction box so this this comes from the power brick plugs into the wall and you, then when you plug it into this junction box the little white light comes on that and that's powered up see and then 
the PC will will detect that and turn on that um, mixed reality portal, and then you're off and off and going. So I'm not going to do that, and I this is too annoying to unplug this every time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this uh, RF control wall plug, so that when I uh, I'll plug the the Power brick has a, a, a grounded plug, so you need to use this kind of a uh, wall plug. And then it's just got an I have, I have it set up to turn on and off with this button. So, so we're going to set that up and see if that works. And then we'll go on from there. So my uh, Asus uh, Code X motherboard has a USB-C port on the back, but for some reason it didn't seem to be compatible with... Uh, the HP Reverb, I just didn't like it. I don't know if it doesn't put out enough power or what the problem was, but eventually I figured out I could use the adapter that comes with this USB-C to USB-A adapter. And fortunately on the front of my PC, I have two USB 3.0 plugs, which so it needs the high speed. So it's using this to communicate with the PC. And I'm not sure why it didn't work through the back port. Now, the, I have used that port for my iPad. I plug my iPad in there, it can charge, I can back it up using iTunes and so forth. So that port on the back works fine for my iPad, but for some reason, the HP Reverb doesn't like it. So this is kind of annoying. Oh, you could also use, this as an on-off switch. If you, un, if you unplug this, then the computer thinks that your headset is off. In other words, you can't communicate with it, so it's, as far as you're concerned, it's off. I don't know if it actually turns the power off, so turning the power off is superior, so we're going to keep using that uh, RF plug. But this was a quick way to tell the PC that you're not using it, using the headset anymore. Uh, to, for a long-term solution, I'm going to get a USB-C uh, card to plug into my into my computer, so then I'll, I can plug this in the back. Because plugging in the front is kind of annoying. It's out in the, it's kind of in the way out here. So hopefully that'll work. I'll go over that later. And as soon as it comes in, got my dedicated uh, USB-C card at the end of my PC. So I don't have to keep plugging the HP Reverb into the back of the in, in, into the front of the PC. So it's got um, got two SUB S USB-C ports on it. It's self-powered, so you, you don't need to connect this to your uh, power supply, which is what attracted me to this particular one. It costs a little bit more, but... So install this on the PC, try plugging in the HP Reverb, and see if this... if the HP Reverb likes this USB port. Re remember, it didn't like the one that was on my motherboard, my ASUS motherboard. So we'll see. Hopefully this one will work. I installed the USB-C card in my PC, and I plugged in the USB-C cable from the junction box into the into that port. I, t I tested it with my iPad and it works fine with that, but of course the other one did too. So now we're gonna try turning on the headset using our power switch. And we'll see if the uh, portal comes up and it thinks we have a uh, plugged in uh, headset. Okay, so I got an error. So try plugging in it back, unplugging your headset and plugging it back in. All right, try that again. I'll try unplugging and plugging it back in and see if that works. All right, unplugged it and plugged it back in. Let's try powering it off and re restarting it. Now the power's off. Turn the power on. It's plugged into the port on the back. I plugged into the other port. There's two ports. See if it what it thinks is gonna happen there. Alright, it might be working. Alright, looks like it worked. Let's put the headset on and see. Yeah. Alright, so it is working. I'll bring them down here so you can see. We're back in our little house. And um uh, it works. So we're going to try powering it off and powering it back on again to make sure it keeps working because a lot of these times these things they work the first time and they don't work. So we're going to try powering it off. We're going to exit. We're going to exit this thing. And we're going to 
power back on. The portal should come back up. Takes a little bit of time. There it is. And we'll see if it works. Yeah, it's ready again. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so it's working. Hooray. Now I don't have to plug it in the front of the PC, which was super annoying. It just gets in the way. So now it's all plugged in the back. I'll put a link to this card in the description. So if you want to try, if your PC doesn't have a USB-C port, or like me, the one on your motherboard doesn't work for some reason, then uh, you can use this one. Hopefully it'll work for you. All right. And again, when we're done with our headset. We just push the off button. And we save energy, and because this headset gets warm, when, even when it's, uh, it's if it's plugged in and you're not using it, it still gets warm. So there's no reason to use that. All right. All right. So I wear glasses. I'm going to show you how it works with my glasses. These are the glasses I'm using. And there's plenty of room in here. These are pretty large lenses. These are over, I think, 68 millimeters across, something like that. So they fit in fine. Uh, these are progressive bifocals, so to get the right focal distance, I need to kind of slide the headset up and down on my forehead. Once I get it locked in, then it's at the right um, position. I can look around, you know, move my head and so forth, and everything looks fine. But if it's too low or too too high, then it's out of focus, obviously. I'll probably end up getting insert lenses at some point. It may already be available. I haven't really looked into that too much lately. So, I just want to let you know that it does work with glasses, and I don't really have any problems once I get it positioned properly. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Post a comment if you have any questions or ideas, and I'll try to respond. That's all for now, but more videos are coming. And if you want to see them, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification icon if you don't want to miss one. This is Beta Signy signing out and keep looking up.